Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu. I'm back, y'all. What it do? On the last episode, we talked about the noticeable pattern, how to utilize it in your life. Minimalism is probably the most important thing to the keys to the island lifestyle. And I say this because keys to the island is based on living a life of experiences not a life of collecting material things. And what that means is, I don't live my life to chase money, I live my life to experience life. I was put here to experience life so that spirit can work through me, so that spirit can experience life as a human being. I am a conduit, if you will. So why is minimalism so important, you ask? When you experience life, you begin to become your highest self. You begin to be the best version of yourself because you're not looking to do little quick schemes to get money, but instead you're you're doing the work, you're studying, you're becoming a better entrepreneur, you're becoming a better person in general. You're working on how you respond to what people do, completely disconnected from the experience of reality, but instead you observe reality and you choose how to react to it. And when you reach that level, it's because minimalism. You're taking away the things that that is that adds to the number one problem in the world. And if you read Keys to the Island, the magazine, you know the number one problem in the world is distraction. So in order to get away from distractions, you must first minimalize your distractions. So that is where the, the minimalist lifestyle comes into play. So I'm gonna grab Hybrid Manual. You can download this on my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Or if you want a hard copy, you can go to Amazon.com and just type in Lord Shoe Hybrid Manual. So I'm going to read straight from Hybrid Manual some minimalist lifestyle tips that you can use in your day to day life so that you can understand really how to get the most out of being a minimalist. I've been a minimalist officially two years ago. I'll say two years ago. So it's 2023 as I'm filming this video. So in 2021, I became officially a minimalist. And basically what that means is instead of me working to be a rich man, I work to make myself better to serve humanity. When you, when you know how to serve humanity, humanity pays you back. Karma pays back. I, I don't go and, and am looking for jobs to specifically make money, but instead I make myself good so that when the opportunity arises, then I'm prepared. So, lifestyle tips, minimalist lifestyle tips that you can use in your everyday life. So, these are things that I actually do also. I'm not just like reading something out of a book just to be like, hey, <laughs> you, know, you should do this. Like, no, these are things I do actually right now. Number one, have seven outfits that represent your brand. Okay, you might not have a business. So let me just put that out there. You might not even want a business but you yourself are a brand. Who you are as a person reflects eternally into the world. And I'm talking about the best quality because remember, even though we might be, uh, we might not be chasing a lifestyle of material things, that doesn't mean that what we buy has to be trash. When you, when you spend money on things that are low quality, that means you have to spend more money because it eventually will turn into trash and you have to keep buying it. Number two, make most of your meals at once. I'll leave it up to you to figure out how you want to do it. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Ayurveda. So in Ayurveda, every meal should be cooked fresh. So meal prepping is for someone who is very busy. Like myself, I would meal prep if, if I could. But I have created a schedule where I can cook fresh meals because my, I live an Ayurvedic lifestyle. Number three, yeah, time management. Time management in regards to having a planner or a schedule. So get you a planner, get you a schedule. You can actually go to my website, hbsxpopup.com and go to the uh, stationary kits. And we have an organizer called the X -Org Organizer. Number four, check and prepare for the next day before bed. So every entrepreneur or anyone who wants to make the most of the time in their life should have a nighttime routine and a morning, morning routine. Number five, Follow a one in one out policy. If, if something doesn't break, don't worry about it because <laughs> it's not important. Things like uh, car maintenance and uh, gas and food, 
necessities. Focus on the necessities. Everything else is recreational. And of course, recreation is important for anyone who is not trying to go crazy, doing too much work. But just keep in mind, one in, one out. Go through a whole questionnaire with yourself if you have to about what's more important. Should I really buy this TV or should I not? Number six, one month planning before making big purchases. Yeah, one same, same as the one in one out policy. Take a month to really look at what's important. Number seven, eat all your groceries before you re restock. Number eight, have a place for everything. Have value for items. Be wary of your purchases. Number nine, repair your own items. Look, it got to be completely something I have no clue about in order for me to spend money to get it repaired. If I think I can fix it, I'm going to take time, attempt to fix it, or I'm gonna get on YouTube and I'm gonna learn how to fix it. Number 10, declutter often. 11, thrift shop. Thrift, thrift shopping is probably the best way to save money because a lot of the bigger brands like Versace, Louis Vuitton, stuff like that, you can find these clothes. If you go to a city, like I live probably about an hour and a half, two hours from Atlanta. I can go to Atlanta right now and go to TJ Maxx and buy some Versace, some Gucci and stuff like that. 12, have intent with social media. Remember, the number one problem in the world is distraction. People get distracted and they lose themselves in the distractions. Social media is probably the most distraction, distracting thing next to TV. Use social media with a purpose. Number 13, cell phones out of the bedroom. That forces me to have to get up out of the bed when my alarm goes off at three, four in the morning and I have to get out the bed to turn it off. I can't just roll over, I put it underneath the bed, <laughs> like deep. So 14, learn how to use chopsticks and buy a pair. Look y'all, chopsticks, I know they're hard to use, but once you have chopsticks, you basically don't really need other utensils except maybe a spoon. So that's pretty much it for minimalism tips. If this video helps you out today, guys, please click the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I want to thank all the new and returning subscribers as usual. Lord Shu loves you from the bottom of his heart. Be tuned to the next episode. It's Lord Shu. Holla!